ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the fourth day of November. It is Election Day in the United States, and for a pretty good chunk of the country, today should be a, a pretty decent day for voting. Now, let's go right to our Skycam images early this morning. Coming off the network, we'll begin with the view coming from Inverness. That's a Skycam out there on top of the Wingate Inn. Traffic is nice and light this morning. Now, there's a look at the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking south on the top of the Daniel Building. The sky clear. Readings are uh, mostly in the upper 40s. And from downtown Clanton, there's a nice look at the Clanton City Hall in Chilton County in central Alabama. Well, there's a big trough coming into the northwest. That's the uh, story that will affect Alabama later in the week. And a little trough over the east producing a surface low just off the coast of the Carolinas. That's been rather pesky for our friends on the uh, eastern Coastal plain of North Carolina. They saw a lot of rain there yesterday. That feature is gradually drifting north. Temperatures this morning, nothing too unusual. Uh, readings around here, mostly in the uh, uh, 40s and low 50s. And again, really hard to find any unusually cold air. In fact, if you look up into, uh, say, uh, Wisconsin, they're actually warmer than Alabama this morning. But they will turn colder later in the week. Here's the expected rain around the nation for the next uh, five days. This is valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rain amounts of only a tenth to a quarter of an inch here, and I think that's right. Uh, this would be uh, any showers that would happen to fall on Friday that should fall, but we don't think we'll get that much. Heavy rain with that coastal low on the uh, coast of North Carolina, a lot of that coming today. Uh, very wet for the Pacific Northwest and some uh, good rains possible from near Lake Texoma North up to the Canadian border. In fact, they could see some strong storms out there. Here's a look at our day two convective outlook. This is for tomorrow. For Wednesday, we've got a slight risk of severe weather from the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas up to almost Minneapolis, Minnesota. That would include uh, Tulsa and Kansas City, Omaha, Des Moines. And on day three, Thursday, the risk shifts to the southeast in the area from near Houston to Paducah, Kentucky. And that would include Memphis and Jackson and Shreveport. Uh, I'm not so sure we'll have a big problem on Thursday. And by the time it moves in here, we do not expect any severe weather risk on Friday. So let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ Run, valid at 1 o'clock today. And you can see the uh, big trough moving into the west down below that. We'll stay in great shape today, sunny with highs up in the 70s. Our uh, coastal low around Wilmington still pushing a lot of Atlantic moisture inland. And of course, that's your Election Day weather right there. Uh, it could rain some today in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. And, of course, back up in the uh, Pacific Northwest. But generally speaking, most of the nation's big population centers will have a beautiful day today. So weather should not be much of a factor tomorrow. Our system begins to come out of the Rockies into the Plain States, and again, late in the day, we could see some fairly active convection in advance of that. And Thursday, the trough is fairly robust uh, off to the northwest of here. Down below that, the surface low, though, is way, way up north, really on the uh, North Dakota-Minnesota border with the uh, trailing front down through Des Moines and Dallas-Fort Worth. And uh, there could be some strong storms with that, but obviously with the support so far north by the time the the storms or the showers get in here Friday. We don't expect any severe weather issues. And, of course, uh, Thursday here, the day will stay dry. And there's a look at Friday. The uh, trough axis is still to the west. So, uh, again, uh, we'll kind of mention the primary chance of showers from maybe 3 a.m. Friday until 3 p.m. Friday. We'll kind of open up that 12-hour window and uh, amounts a quarter inch or less. And... Uh, we think the shower should be gone in time for high school football games Friday night. And what about the weekend? The weekend will be cooler. The thickness values are coming down, but the weather should be dry. Saturday should be a sunny day. The uh, clouds to the north should stay north. So sunny, breezy, cool with highs in the 60s. And on Sunday, another beautiful day. We'll start the day around 40. And again, the high Sunday should be in the 60s. Now, Monday of next week, the GFS throwing a little short wave at us all of a sudden. Off to the west, we'll look uh, below that. The rain with that feature is over Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. And then Tuesday, the feature weakens as it comes through here, but there is some hint now that we might see some rain out there on Veterans Day, Tuesday, the 11th of November. Uh, that's a big uh, parade day in Birmingham. We'll watch that carefully in coming days. And look what's back on the table here. November 15th, a big 
dynamic trough. You know, we've seen that before. Uh, the, the run we showed you yesterday afternoon, it split that thing, but now it's back in phased form, and that looks like it could be a big thunderstorm day, if that's right. Maybe a chance of severe weather around the 15th of November. And then on the 19th, look at that trough in place. And uh, down below that, that would suggest uh, some very cold air dropping in here. Maybe even snow flurries for the shoals. Are you kidding me? Well, of course, this is pure voodoo, and that might change. But again, it sure likes the weather. Uh, looks like the weather could be getting interesting out there at mid-month and beyond. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather.